This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. All right, guys, so we're going to look at a generator here. You guys know I love these things. They're so much fun. Generally, they break when it's raining, snowing, something bad. Uh, I had done some work on this thing a while back. Had it replaced a uh, control board on it. They hadn't been having it maintenance, and now they want to, but it's going off on oil failure, I guess, from what I'm being told. Somebody else was out here. Got to get unlocked here to see if we can figure out what the code is, because I, like I said, I haven't been here for a while. Let's see if we can get this thing opened up. Usually is this one. There we go. Poor thing's been wore out a little bit. All right. Looks uh, it's due in 2020. God, has it been that long since I've done it? It says switch to off. Where's our oil level at now? Always like check it. Honestly, I don't see nothing wrong with that oil. It looks brand new. Hasn't probably ran but a couple hours. This was bad. These things set out in the weather and they tend just to go bad setting outside. I mean, I've had, I have two portables and I've not had one problem with any of them. Here I am, I make multiple videos over these things just breaking left and right. So on auto, it's automatically starting. So that's obviously a problem. If I remember correctly, this was something we had problems with before. <clears throat> it was, um, it must not be uh, sensing that it has power. So let's go in here to edit, see if we can, uh, or debug, see what we got. Inputs, 246 utility. So it knows it has utility. So why in auto position did it want to start? So we got a problem there. Um, I would need to go through and double check. Uh, all these right here are digital inputs. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each one of those zeros and ones, uh, one means on, o means, or zero means off. Uh, that's telling you what's going on. So that's your input. Uh, outputs, uh, we should be nothing. Which is what we got. Display is just the display of the board itself. See how it lights them all up, and then quiet test. I don't like quiet tests. I think it causes more problems than what it's worth. So the question is, why does it want to... See, look at that. Now I go to auto and it doesn't want to start. It shouldn't have tried to start to begin with. So do we have a fluke thing going on? Why did it try to start? Sometimes you just really wonder what the deal is with these things. They do kooky, dumb stuff like this. Let's go to alarm log. Low oil pressure. That happened recently. Uh, January. If the clock's accurate. Low oil again in November. And then the battery. So it's been having some issues. It wouldn't surprise me if the, the uh, oil pressure switch is bad. Uh, we'll have to put a gauge on here to find out for certain. Let's go ahead and run it manual. Okay, so low oil pressure. I think I've did a video on this once before. It's not rocket science. We've got a little pressure switch right here on the side. And basically it builds up pressure and it closes that little switch. If it's got oil, it should be able to build up pressure. And then I'll give it to you. So let's go grab my gauge and see if we can check the oil pressure. And if it's good, well, you know, it's a junk switch. Now this doesn't get much more generic than this. I've got a little tape housing here with my hose, with my fittings, and that's gonna screw right onto a oil pressure gauge, something you'd see on a lawnmower or something. It's made in China, China. So let's go over here and see if this thing works. See, so you probably get a fancy one with a little thing on the back of it. You just kind of plug into it or something and 
but you know this this usually works pretty good it's generic basically go to your auto zone store um if it was a, if you're a homeowner doing it yourself i think i would just go ahead and change the switch but i like to test and verify before i just replace something i can go ahead and pull those wires off that thread looks pretty good size but it should fit it's a lot more material here than what I need. I chopped that off a long time ago. And uh, yeah, so let's get on there. Got these awesome pliers that everybody hates because they don't own them. And here's the baby ones. The baby ones work even better yet because see, they're nice and small. See, I've got generic, generic wrenches here. These have a tendency to round things. See, I just, I prefer these. If you don't like it, I don't give a shit. These actually give you down pressure. And I can grab a hold of things and all that. Now it might leak a little bit, and it may not. Theoretically, the oil should be at the bottom of the engine. Obviously it's not. Kind of a crappy design should have made it so everything drains down to the engine but unfortunately they didn't so we'll try to just stick that up in there see if they was smart they would have put this on a spot so that it would drain straight down but instead what they did is they just did whatever was convenient on their milling process and then it pockets oil there i think chevy 4.3 liter had something stupid like that and see, then you're about ready to break this stupid thing here. I need to maybe get get a new uh, hose for this thing. I don't, like I said, I don't do these stupid things anymore. Hardly ever. I don't enjoy it anymore. It was fun when I was bored because all I was doing was residential and light commercial. And I needed something to do that was funner than what I was doing because it gets boring after a while, the same old things. So that's why I got into the generator stuff. Problem is, if you're not going to go all in and you're going to, you know, go full bore on it, it's not worth doing if you're not going to do it right. Okay, so we are going to the opposition. Hit enter to acknowledge Daniel. Oil pressure. Plenty. No problem whatsoever. That should not drop out. So the problem is the gauge, or the switch. The switch is your problem. There's your problem. Yippee skippy. I don't have one. Um, you know, I, I'm used to stocking things, but. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is get me some copper and then, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do is get a new switch. No sense of doing a whole lot of anything right this moment and clean all that crap up when we come back and do the rest of the service. But that's that's what's going on, simple as that. Rocket science, didn't even have to get the book out. Now we could check it with the meter, see if it's having, is it a problem with the wire? So let's go ahead and check that just to make certain that it's not a problem with just the wiring. So let's go ahead and check resistance. Right there, it's, we gotta know that our meter works. We go down here to this, it's shorted together. So when it starts, it's gonna open. So in theory, if you left this open, it would run. shorted together <laughs> if I leave that off it'll continue to run
there you go so if i wanted to be a nice guy i could leave that off they're uh they're gonna have to wait till the park comes that's what's gonna be because if anything would go wrong they would blame that all on you so i'm not doing that so we'll go ahead and put that back together just like that and we will order a new switch and that'd be nice and simple to change there we go all right so let's go get a paper towel like i said i got sick last night after throwing up feel a lot better but i was freezing cold all that other stuff i usually have perfect attendance in school and i never miss work all right let's go ahead and get some of that wiped back up i don't like leaving things a mess i wouldn't be happy if it was my generator and somebody left it all a mess like that just doesn't show respect for somebody's equipment you know there you go So, yep, got the excess, a little bit of extra there. Oil levels were fine. I don't even really think it needs a tune-up. It's just a bad switch. <sighs> but yeah, now if we put it manual, it's gonna trigger out. low oil pressure yep so that's the problem so it's back to the way it was and chances are you know most oil switches and stuff i mean it's just an extra set of precaution if your oil level's fine whatever but when we got to play by the rules we'll play by the rules so that's gonna wrap this one up guys we'll come back and change that oil switch uh however long it takes to get it i gotta get a information off the uh, generator so we can match that up but yeah that's what it is and bam take a picture so they know what they're looking for when they're going to buy it or order it whatever and good deal there you go